to be in for the closing speeches on Thursday. Now, the next item of business this afternoon is a debate on motion 13703 in the name of the First Minister on the appointment of a junior Scottish Minister. Members should note that the question on this motion will be put immediately after the debate. Uh, and I would invite any member who wishes to speak in this debate to press their request to speak button now. And I call on Nicola Sturgeon to speak to and to move the motion in her name. Uh, thank you, President Officer. Before I turn to the ministerial appointment, can I take this opportunity to clarify a point from my programme for government statement? Uh, I referred to this weekend's opening of the AWPR, uh, or a major section of the AWPR. I want to make clear that the opening event is this weekend and it will open to traffic in the coming weeks. However, it remains the case that the whole road will be open to traffic uh, in the autumn of this year. Uh, I simply wanted to make that uh, clear to the Chamber. Presiding officer, I now uh, rise to seek Parliament's approval that Richard Lockhead, MSP, be appointed as a Scottish Junior Minister. Uh, this will, of course, not be the first time that Richard has held ministerial office and during his time in government previously, he had a number of notable achievements. He was a tireless champion of Scottish rural industries, both at home and abroad, as well as being instrumental in driving the growth of our food and drink sector, which, of course, continues to go from strength to strength. And on the very day that the Programme for Government confirms plans to ban plastic cotton buds, we should remember that the first steps to tackle plastic waste were taken when Richard implemented the plastic bag levy which has been a huge success, raising millions of pounds for good causes and seeing plastic bag use plummet. Uh, Richard, of course, took a step back from government in 2016 to support his family in an extremely difficult time, and all of us are very pleased that he now feels ready to return to the front bench. Of course, Richard being Richard, he remained a campaigning politician, never wavering in standing up for his constituents. Uh, particularly on the issue of delivery charges, Richard has led a highly effective campaign, highlighting the UK government's continued failure to act on what is a significant injustice, not only for his constituents, but for rural communities across Scotland and forcing action by companies, by the Advertising Standards Agency and Trading Standards. Uh, subject to Parliament's approval uh, later this afternoon, I have asked Richard now to take up the role of Minister for Further Education, Higher Education and Science. His new portfolio is one of the most important uh, in government in terms of building our long-term success. Amongst other things, he will be responsible for the key Scottish Government priority of widening access to university, where we're already seeing improvements in our journey towards 20% of university students coming from the 20% most deprived areas. He will also help to shape the future of our higher education institutions, a pivotal part of our economic future. And he's perfectly placed to work with both sectors, being a graduate first of college and then returning to his studies at university uh, later on. So, presiding officer, it will give me great pleasure to welcome Richard Lockhead back to government and I hope the MSPs from across the chamber will wish him well in what is a very important job. I move the motion in my name. Thank you. I now call on Maurice Golden. Thank you, President Officer. Richard Lockhead is one of the few remaining 99ers in the Scottish Parliament, a parliamentary veteran and no stranger to the government benches. A native of Paisley in my own region in the west of Scotland, but like many Scots before him, he has travelled far from the place of his birth. He seemed determined to win the constituency or at least see as much of the north of Scotland as he possibly could. Standing in Gordon in 1997, Aberdeen Central in 99 and 2003, before winning Murray in 2006. Although by this time, he had already served as a regional MSP in the north of Scotland for seven years. He previously served as Cabinet Secretary for Rural Affairs and the Environment. And in that capacity, I worked with him promoting the sale of compost bins. And together, we sold over one million uh, compost bins to households throughout Scotland. Uh, there is a picture of each of us inside a compost bin which was part of the promotional campaign and when you say that you wonder how we managed to shift one million of those but uh, never mind. Uh, I do uh, have the photo but I'm not sure which one of us would lose most political credibility were I to release it to social media. Of course Richard Lockhead <laughs> is a champion of the circular economy and in that regard we are both kindred spirits. His new portfolio is also a critical one driving forward education and learning and I know he will work hard as he was named 
joint fourth hardest working MSP this summer by Philip Sim. Uh, we might be opponents, but in this endeavour of improving education, I genuinely wish him well. Thank you very much. The question is that motion 13703, in the name of the First Minister, on the appointment of a junior Scottish Minister, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. The motion is agreed. The First Minister may now invite Her Majesty to approve the appointment of Richard Lockhead as a junior Scottish Minister, and may I offer my congratulations on your reappointment. Uh, now, the uh, next item of business is consideration of three parliamentary bureau motions. Could I ask Graham Day on behalf of the bureau to move motion 13735 on variation to business motion procedure, motion 13736 on committee meeting times, and motion 13737 on committee membership? Uh, move, presiding officer. Thank you very much. And I propose to ask a single question on all three uh, bureau motions. Does anyone object? No, that's good. The question, therefore, is that motions 13735, 13736 and 13737, in the name of Graham Day, on behalf of the Bureau, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. And that concludes decision time. We'll now move to members' business. We'll just have a short break, short suspension while the, member, while the business clears, chamber clears. <laughs>